Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator Rome, where Mayin is thinking about breaking their alliance with us. And I'm fine with this. There will be a truce period, so we'll still have time. They won't immediately declare on us, so I'm not going to stop it. It's fine. In the meantime, we are saving up our manpower here to get another unit of 10 heavy infantry. And with that, we will put that into this force here. We should probably think about fortifying this border, though. We could put a fort here, here, and here. And you know what? I'm kind of okay with this. We have a tribal settlement here. I'm going to get rid of that. We'll build a fort here. Same thing here. We'll build a fort here. And we'll build a fort here. Those are just going to be level 1 forts. We're not going to fortify them further than that. So it should be okay. Because, I mean, realistically, Mayin is not that big of a threat to us. These guys will be arriving on 16 April. Quite a long time to build this, but I suppose we're building through hills and mountains, so it makes sense. The Sabin army lacks a commander. Hello. There you go. Have a commander. And the Hadramut army also lacks a commander. We'll give them one. Okay, there we go. The first army lacks a commander, but that's because the first army isn't going to exist after it reaches its destination. But it's got some road building to do. Like, you know, the rest of our empire. <laughs> we have a lot of roads that I want to build. Okay, get up to Yeha. And turn off build road for right now. We're going to connect up to a dooley with roads. And then we're going to do a bit of a three-way intersection here between Adule, Orien, and Kaloe. So that'll take a little time, and then we'll find out if we can build through the desert. I'd be a little surprised if we can, but we'll see. So build a road up to Aduli, and then to here, and then back to there. That's the idea. And we've got three units currently working on building roads, so we're probably going to be going a little bit backwards in terms of our finances here. Mayin broke their alliance with us. That's fine. I don't really care too much about that. We're making 24.74 monthly right now. So I think we're still going to be doing okay on finances. These guys are supporting the wrong people, and it costs tyranny to change that. I'm going to wait for our tyranny to tick down a little bit, I think. Our tyranny is pretty high right now, and I definitely am not okay with that. So a lot of these roads are getting close to finished. Well, this over here. Our whole Arabian area is getting close to finished. Since we're doing relatively minor amounts of roads over here, we may end up connecting in, say, over to here, and then from here to Harai, and then back like that. Yeah, that's probably what we'll end up doing over there. That should be just fine. And then over here, we're building roads in this area, as I stated. Precious metals from Egypt. Yeah, that's fine. Not too concerned about that. Tyranny is going down by 0.1 every month. Okay. We could gain 5 stability. And this will be Arab Arabic religion, which is fine. That's what we are. This is just good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Fantastic. We almost have enough manpower to recruit another unit of heavy infantry up here, and I'm going to get that started. By the time this unit is done, we should have enough. Or very, very close to it. 
I'm a little bit concerned about how much money we're spending on roads right now. But we did also have these fort expenditures and we have our recruitment expenditures. Overall, I feel like we're okay. I mean, it takes like six months to build a road segment. So figure every two months, we're barely okay. Every two months because we have three of them going. Okay, stability increase for free. I'm fine with this. So yeah, we're barely okay on the road construction front, but we are not quite so okay on some of the other costs like recruitment. So that's something we'll need to consider. Like right now, I'm not comfortable recruiting these units up here just because of the amount of money we currently have. And it just dipped down below 25 per month, so that's actually kind of spooky. I'm going to get rid of this fort here. This is wood that it produces, and I'm going to replace it with something else. But that'll have to happen later on. Yeah, that put us back up over 25, so that's good. These forts are still a useful fallback position for us, so that's why I'm keeping these. Okay, these guys are building their last road now. This is our General of the Axumite Army and our primary heir. He is now ill. Hmm. Interesting. Well, good luck, buddy. Our tyranny is coming down, which is nice. That's very, very nice indeed. It's still just the physician and the royal tutor supporting the wrong people, so I'm not going to spend tyranny on, on enforcing the heir. I don't think that's super important. Yes, give me money. <laughs> I will happily take your money. <laughs> okay. So once these guys arrive here, which they will do presently, well, within a month or two, then we're going to have a little bit of a respite. And we'll have to see if they can build through this desert. Like I said before, I will be very surprised if we can. We're absolutely going for Oratalt. There's no way we don't go for Blessing of Oratalt right now. Why aren't you building roads? Get over here. No wonder our finances are going up. You're supposed to be building a road. <laughs> okay. So we got that under control. Good thing that they didn't go too far. Yeah, that it should be fine. We'll just go like that as before and then back to where they sit so that should be just fine you guys can march over here turn off build road at least for now and this will be fascinating turn on build road it looks like they're building a road if we can limit the amount of attrition we take going through this desert by going through it substantially faster, this is going to be a huge deal if we can get a road through here. Because otherwise we have to come around the desert like so, and that's a huge delay. Or we go through the desert and take huge attrition. Which is what I've chosen in the past, is to just take the attrition. But if we can build this road... 8 April is when they get there. Of course, they're going to be taking a large amount of attrition through this, but we have manpower stocked up, so we should be fine. So let's see how this ends up. Also, Hadramud Army, you are supposed to be building a road up to here, then to here, 
then to here, then to here. Go on. Okay. What goes on here? Do we get a road? We absolutely do. Get that road built all the way to Obia. We're going to be taking huge amounts of attrition through here, but that is acceptable right now. We're still gaining manpower, but barely. Medical accident. Hmm, the general of the Axumite army is now blind, I guess. We can make him get, be brain damaged. He's our primary heir. Either way, he's going to be brain damaged. Hopefully it'll kill him. <laughs> and then we can maybe get a different heir? That would be nice. So this road is doing quite well, coming down all the way through here now. So that is ideal. These guys are going to redirect after Obia and come down over to Jajiga. And also build here, I think. Yeah, that's probably going to be for the best. We're going to be taking a lot of attrition through this desert, but if we can build a road through there, then I'm quite happy. Statue, okay. We would lose 10 popularity. Or just 2 unrest in the area. In Moreau? We already have some unrest up over here, don't we? I mean... Not really. But we definitely will. And this would be for 10 years. We'll take the popularity hit. Our ruler is pretty old anyway. Should be fine, I hope. And once we get this road network complete, then we should be able to move around our armies very quickly indeed. So we've successfully built a road here. Yeah, we can build roads through these uninhabitable deserts. And that means we should maybe consider... Well, the question is, are we going to invade Egypt via this avenue? If we are to invade Egypt, then we build this road. If we don't want to invade Egypt, then we keep this desert as a buffer territory against them. So, they have to march through taking large amounts of attrition just to get to our fort, is the idea there. I think we leave it for now. Yeah, I, I think we leave it for now. That seems like the best course of action. Our finances are still a bit on the low side for constructing this many roads at once. That said, we are getting close to being done with road construction. And maybe we should take this army and build a road between there and then immediately come back and then to there. just so that we can access all of these forts incredibly quickly. This should be zone of controlled, so they should have no way to use these roads against us unless the forts fall. And if the forts fall, well, we've got other problems. Realistically. There's just not really any other way to think about that, in my opinion. Are you marching or are you building? I think you're building. Okay. You, however, are definitely marching. Come back up here. I think it automatically turns off when you don't have enough money. Pretty sure that's what's going on there. Our oratory advances just advanced. 
But all that said, we are very, very close to having our roads done. We do need a little bit more money. That's why we're on Blessing of Oratol. And the fact that we've got all of this going on is kind of the reason why we are uh, having some financial issues right now. These guys will arrive on 26 April. So yeah, see right there. It ended up not building the road. Because we didn't have enough money. It turned it off and just kept them going. Okay, so I'm just going to park this army right here for right now. We're going to wait until this army, the Sabin army here, is done with its road construction. And it almost is. It will be arriving on 15 August, so a couple more months. And we'll just reinforce this for right now. I, I took it out of the desert because I didn't want it to be taking attrition during this time. Okay, 15 August. We should have enough money. That should not be a concern. At least I hope it's not a concern. <laughs> it may end up being a concern. Well, I don't know. We're making 31.76 per month right now, so it shouldn't be a problem. The governor of Arabia Felix is currently being shamed. We can demand his resignation. This guy was a problem. I mean, sure, he'd lose a ton of loyalty, but he also would have no power base with his re with his resignation because yeah he would have a power base of 2 you are resigned forcibly excellent he's the most qualified but there's also this guy there we go now the Ahmeds are considered a scorned family now and we'll see about whether to uh, change that a little bit later on. We'll move this army back. Bring this army back to here. You guys should be arriving momentarily because roads make you move awful quick. And get to drilling. Fantastic. These guys are going to be in position very soon. Let's see, Governor of Arabia Felix is supporting the wrong guy, and we actually do want to change that. So I'll spend the tyranny on that one. Position and Royal Tutor doesn't really matter. First Army will be arriving over here shortly. 5 November, so right now. Oh. We can only start it when we're in a territory that we own, but we can continue it in territories that we don't own. I feel like this is a bug. I feel like we're not supposed to be able to do this. We need a martial researcher. Ahmeds are scorned, but they don't have anybody qualified. Yeah, I really feel like this is a bug. This is not supposed to work this way, but... And, and in fact, it very well may not work this way in 1.3. Remember, we are still on 1.2. So that's going to be interesting to find out if they fixed this or not. Because this honestly feels broken. I'm going to do it. But it feels broken. Okay, so... We're down to two armies building building roads right now. We are making, I think, enough to have three building roads. As long as we don't spend other money. We're only going to be spending a little bit of money down over here. Of course, we need to connect all this up. So that's going to be a thing. I don't think we can build a road across the strait. 
Or at least we couldn't in the last patch. But maybe we can in this one. Who knows? Maybe if we queue it from here and queue it like that, there'll just be a road across the water. That would be so buggy. <laughs> but I'm going to find out. So yeah, they just created a road here, even though they're not supposed to be able to, I think. And they're definitely not supposed to be able to build a road here. But because of the way they coded the queuing, it appears to allow it. I'm willing to bet they fixed this in 1.3. Uh-oh. 4 September. Okay, we're good. I just saw that we dipped under 50 gold, and I was like, ooh, that's gonna be spicy. 11 October. That one may not end up happening. That said, this is the last road here. That's 4 September. These guys arrive on 12 November. Okay. So, actually, I think we are good. Come on, road. Petitioner approaches. Oh, yes, we will take your money. We will defend you from the nothing that is chasing you. Fantastic. Free money. <laughs> and now we definitely don't have any problems. Unless I were to uh, do something about it. But we're actually almost done with our Arabian roads. You come down to here. And I'm going to turn off Build Road. For right now. Two more roads to go here. And then our Arabian roads are complete. For now, anyway. Until such a time as I decide that they are insufficient. But realistically, go ahead and build a road. What happens if you build a road to here? Is this going to be super buggy? I'm actually... I'm going to make a game save. If this breaks something, we can come back to this 6 November save. Or if I just... If it, if it puts in the road mesh and it just looks awful... <laughs> <laughs> I might just reload that. We'll see. For now, though, we can probably afford to get this force built. So let's go ahead and recruit this in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. So that is under construction now. And we should be able to import that in over here would be the idea. The governor of Arabia Felix is still supporting the wrong person. That is, of course, this guy. Which is a bit of a problem. Arabia Felix is an enormous province. That said, the power base is going to be shifting as we get our armies online. So that's going to be a thing. In fact, we should maybe consider... What is the pop limit around here? 25, 29, 30? We should maybe consider having this army be the uh, Moroian army. That might be a good idea. Okay, so this force is done building roads. You can go off of build road mode. That is all of our Arabian roads complete. Fantastic. And it is pretty much time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to... Oh, hello, religious advances. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>